The British government has set out plans for a new law barring entry to asylum seekers in small boats. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has said that preventing boat arrivals is one of his five key leadership priorities. But what does the move mean in practice? Last year, more than 45,000 migrants arrived on the south coast of England, with around 90% applying for asylum. This new legislation would mean that anyone who arrives this way will be prevented from claiming asylum. Here's Britain's Interior Minister, Suella Braverman. They will not stop coming here until the world knows that if you enter Britain illegally, you will be detained and swiftly removed. Yeah. Removed back to your country if it's safe, or to a safe country, a safe third country like Rwanda. Yeah. And that is precisely what this bill will do. That is how we will stop the boats. Last year, Britain agreed a deal to send tens of thousands of migrants more than 4,000 miles away to Rwanda. The first deportation flight was blocked by an injunction from the European Court of Human Rights. London's High Court then ruled it lawful in December, but opponents are seeking to appeal that verdict. Sunak says Tuesday's new legislation means the government will, quote, take back control of our borders once and for all. Charities say the proposal may be impractical and criminalise the efforts of thousands of genuine refugees. Opposition parties too have questioned whether the latest plans would be any more effective than previous attempts to stop people from making the crossing. That begs the question, will migrants actually be deterred from trying to reach the UK? Claire Mosley from Care for Calais says she doesn't think the, quote, draconian measures will work. The Refugee Council charity says tens of thousands of genuine refugees who would previously have been granted asylum would be locked up like criminals under the plans. That being the case, will Sunak face opposition to the legislation, or even legal challenges? Well, there are many practical and legal issues to the proposals, including where migrants can be deported to if they cannot claim asylum. Rwanda only had one hostel to accept UK arrivals last year, with the capacity for 100 people, a fraction of those who have arrived in the UK on small boats. The government has said it plans to house people in disused military bases and vacation parks, but there are questions if the government has the capacity to keep people detained in these centres. Some lawyers say the new plans also seemingly disregard Britain's commitments under the United Nations Refugee Convention. The rules there provide a route to a fair hearing for asylum seekers, no matter how they arrived in a country. This could lead to the government facing legal challenges over the legislation. Governments across the world are wrestling with how to deal with an influx of refugees fleeing war-torn countries or persecution in their homelands. Sunak is trying to build a reputation as a leader who, by mastering the detail, can fix complex problems that have eluded his predecessors. But his comments about the new immigration plans have raised expectations that this will effectively end small boat crossings. Um, well, uh, the Labour Party are... But stopping the boats, Mr Speaker, stopping the boats is not just my priority, it is the people's priority. But his, posi his position on this is clear. He wanted to, in his words, scrap the Rwanda deal. He voted against measures to deport foreign criminals, Mr Speaker, and he even argued against deportation flights. Well, and we know why, because on this matter, he talked about his legal background. He's just another lefty lawyer standing in our way. This country and your government who should decide who comes here and not criminal gangs. Entering the UK illegally in small boats has more than quadrupled in just the last two years. Those illegally crossing the Channel are not directly fleeing a war-torn country or persecution or an imminent threat to life. They have travelled through safe European countries. They are paying people smugglers huge sums to make this dangerous and sometimes tragic journey. They know that our system can be exploited, that once here, illegal migrants can make a multitude of asylum, modern slavery 
and spurious human rights claims to frustrate their removal. People must know that if they come here illegally, it will result in their detention and swift removal. Once this happens, and they know it will happen, they will not come and the boats will stop. That is why today we are introducing legislation to make clear that if you come here illegally, you can't claim asylum, you can't benefit from our modern slavery protections, you can't make spurious human rights claims, and you can't stay. We will detain those who come here illegally and then remove them in weeks, either to their own country if it is safe to do so, or to a safe third country like Rwanda. And once you are removed, you will be banned, as you are in America and Australia, from ever re-entering our country. This is how we will break the business model of the people smugglers. And this is how we will take back control of our borders. This is tough, but it is necessary and it is fair. And this legislation will be retrospective. If you come on a small boat today, the measures in this bill will apply to you. That is why I've already secured the largest ever small boats deal with France. And patrols on French beaches are already up 40%. I also promise progress on enforcement. And we've increased raids on illegal working by 50%. It's completely unfair on the British people who have opened their homes to genuine refugees, but are now having to spend nearly £6 million a day to put up illegal migrants in hotels. We don't believe it is necessary to leave the ECHR. Uh, we believe that we're acting in compliance with it and acting, meeting our international obligations, but as I said, also meeting our obligations to the British public to have control over our borders and ensure that it's them and their elected government who's in, in control of who is coming here.